hello and welcome to this video today we are going to create this landscape which has a sort of a crater in the middle and some of the snow remnants and a lake which is splitting the crater in half so I uh, will start with the ridge uh, we are decreasing the height a uh, little bit so that it's uh, not um, that high and then we will uh, warp it a little bit so we are uh, using the roughness to its maximum and uh, we are increasing the strength just a bit so that we have more resistance when we are uh, applying erosion next so now when we apply erosion it will carve in into the bits and we will have some of the uh, rock here exposed so for this erosion we are uh, using the some of the random sediments and we are using inhibition equal to zero so that the area around here has all of these flows as well so if we have uh, inhibition value higher this area will be covered up with the soil and all that stuff so we are putting it to minimum so that the area around here is exposed now for our crater we are using the crater primitive and we are decreasing the depth so that uh, it's not uh, and that deep and uh, we are not getting much of it below our plane then also we have increased the displacement a bit so that the shape is a bit irregular then we are using stacks now we are getting this uh, sort of desert mesa type structures uh, we'll have our fractal terracing and some of the erosion so we are increasing the cascades and the stacks value and then we apply a hard uh, rugged so that uh, it's um, broken up and then we'll use fold so we are getting these uh, four lines around here then we are using wizard to break up some of the uh, bits around here so that it doesn't look that uniform so if we compare before and after and in uh, wizard for the phase 2 we are using mild erosion and all of the other settings are at default and then to combine these two first we will check the height of both ok so they are about the same height so we are using max before the depth was uh, too much so that's why I decreased the depth around here so that they are adding better since we are using max we are getting some of these uh, ridge lines and uh, we are getting the uh, rugged effect from here as well then we will use uh, thermal to fill up the gaps between around here so that they are uh, mixing well now it doesn't look like that the crater was added on top they look like more or less the same part of the rain and then we'll do a basic erosion on top of it now it looks even better so for this erosion we are using half of the strength and some of the sediments now we'll start carving out the rivers for the first river node uh, we get this uh, sort of river cutting it uh, into half and then we are using another river so that uh, this area is more pronounced so that when we put lake above it it will look even better and before using river you need to make sure that uh, this area is above the ground otherwise uh, it will look like uh, it will look a bit flat and the river won't look uh, as good as they should be so if it wasn't uh, around here then we could use the clamp and uh, raise the clamp mean so that it's a bit above the ground and then use our river now we are getting this beautiful river around here so we'll put it back to how it was now we'll add snowfall So for the snowfall we are using sunlight uh, in as its uh, melt input 
if we view this and put this under a layer so that we can view how the sunlight is so these are the area we are getting so the areas that are brighter so the snow will melt uh, on these areas and the areas that are darker uh, on these places the snow will not melt as much so if we look at the snowfall node then we are using melt to 100% so all of this snow right here is gone and uh, some of the snow that was in the shade it was left so uh, for settle we are using 77% and in the advanced we are using a, a low mask uh, so that the snow falls down since uh, since the winter is gone so the snow will starts to settle down and move down so that's why we are using a low slope slip off angle and uh, low mass and after that finally we'll add our rivers uh, our lake so the reason we are doing the lake after the snowfall is because we don't want uh, this snow right here so the lake will cover all of this snow around here now comes the texturing part texturing will start from right here this will be our underlay and then we'll use texture so that we will get our basic texture now we attach a set map to our texture now this is our uh, base pass as this is our first pass so for the second pass we'll be adding our vegetation on it for vegetation i was experimenting with the vegetation for different biomes uh, but somehow i ended up with this setup that i am about to show so for the first type of vegetation we are using simple vegetation which is on the lower slopes and uh, which has uh, 60% occurrence and uh, lower density and then we are using uh, another vegetation which has this uh, sort of different color to differentiate between them and this is uh, on the bottom slopes as well as uh, when we add chaos it will start throwing it on the other slopes as well and maybe we should just put it on the top slopes as well and for the mask of this vegetation right here which is around here so first we'll use soil so that we get all of the deposit parts where the soil is and then we will be taking the uh, bottom part so we are using height uh, normalized so that we get uh, top 46 percent of our terrain and then we multiply it so only the soil of those lower 46 percent is right here and then in parallel we'll have our tertiary flows and then now we are using the uh, top uh, 48 percent this uh, part we are getting and we will multiply these two so we'll get the flows which are in the uh, higher areas now we'll add these two uh, with max mode so that we have the soil from the lower areas and the flow from the higher areas then we will shatter so that we have a bit of variation and now we are using a fx to raise our mask and we are clamping it just in case uh, the bright value around here goes higher than one and then we are combining these two so now if we compare between these so these are the vegetations that are in the these are the vegetation that favor the flows and uh, some of the soil around here now we have our different vegetation paths and we are using color effects uh, to make a portal so that uh, our graph is clean and this is our base texture portal around here here another color effects to make a portal and now for the uh, flow right here we are using the texture and we are uh, subtracting the rock map from it so we take a rock map 
uh, in its default and then we are subtracting it uh, so that some of the rock around here is exposed so if you see right here and we give it a set map and a dark color so the flows are more visible now we are using a flow mask uh, with its uh, secondary and tertiary flows and if you look at that we have our flows now we will put some uh, dirt in our flows so for that we'll take the flows and then we will shatter the mask and then we'll use a purlin uh, on its default we're using we are using this as a mask so we put mask around here Okay, this is our purlin we are using snow uh, so we are using soil so that we get uh, this uh, random soil on our terrain and then we are using multiply so that uh, this is break up even more now we have some random splotches around here and there there we can add our dirt so if we see before and after this is our dirt added on top that's all for our flows and now we'll be adding our snowfall and the water for that uh, first we'll add our river then we'll add our snow and then we'll add our lake the reason being that uh, some of the rivers around here so we have the river visible but the snow will cover so that it will look like the snow is melting and the water is flowing from there so for that We'll start with our uh, lake depth, uh, auto level it, and then use a set map to give it a sort of a bluish color. Uh, if you remember in the previous videos and in the beginner series, we were using the uh, clutter, but since clutter tends to crash a lot, so we are using a simple set map. And then the mask for our rivers, we'll we are using a FX. We are using the same technique as before. We are using raise to raise uh, the mask and clamping just in case the white values go higher than one. Then we combine with a hundred percent blend. So there we have our rivers. And now for our snowfall, we are using the snow output from our snowfall node and just using the same for our mask and same for our second input so we get our bright white snow and for our lakes the same as uh, before uh, we are using the lake depth the auto level it and use a warp to add some variation in it for the warp we are using higher value for roughness increase the strength and decrease the size and then we are using set map give it some sort of this uh, blue color so for our lake mask we are using the lake hard mask and we are blurring it a little bit and then we are using shaper because when we blur it uh, some of the mask will go outside of where the lake is and these areas are on the lake shore not the lake itself so we are using a shaper to bring the mask inside so that we have only the lake around here and then now we if we combine it our lakes are blended perfectly so now all of the textures are together and we have our beautiful terrain now we can take some beautiful screenshot of it and post it on social media that's it for this video thank you for watching if you have any questions then feel free to post them down in the comments and i'll see you around in the next videos